So good morning, friends. Today we are going to share with you my another personal opinions as well as experiences about my life along with the reporting. Friends, what I have achieved with the repertory is very wonderful association of my life. Because with this, I am able to discover many more new symptoms, new rubrics, new medicines, as well as memorizing. And it has helped me a great strength for me. Another important feature for my repertory life is that uh, it uh, added my value of life towards the sincerity in selection of the medicines. Because uh, usually with the vastness of the homeopathic medicines, it becomes almost impossible to arrive at the symptoms without going into the details of the symptoms or details of the life history. And for this purpose, we had been taking a detailed case information and that means we had been going into the life of the patient as well as the symptoms that are due to the problem and because the positive factors and many factors right from the birth until the present state of the life. Another important thing is that we also add on the past life, our past experiences as well as the generations have behavior that we have. So when we see the person as a whole, it counts that there should be the past, there should be the genetics, and there should be the present. So only when you combine or think about the symptoms in these three aspects, you can understand the symptoms well. Now, we have been taught that a patient is never represented by a single symptoms, however peculiar they may be. It's quite true. How you are going to decide a medicines, whereas if that medicines has got thousands of symptoms along with the symptoms that you have, that is there in your mind. And the things that is there in your mind is are the remembered aspects, are the remembered aspects that you have given some more thoughts that's why it is persistent in your memory. And with this persistent memory, if it dominates in your medicine selection, they become a favoritism. And this favoritism is a very bad aspect for the practice of medicines. And it leads your mind towards the prejudiced feeling about the medicines. Most of the time, we get excited when we get a single rubric the medicines and the, the medicines have included in that only one or two. And they feel that, you know, I got everything. But how this in, 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 unique report rubrics can be useful? Have you ever given thought? Yes, that is one of the visibility, more visible part. But why it is visible? Why it is visible? Why it has become so dominant? It is, we have to give, think over it. So visibility as well as the background for the visibility. Something that we do in our life and that is being reflected in the form of, form of our uh, resolutions of the mind. And that is being only expressed. So this mental and individual behavioral features are very important. And then when you think about the lifestyles, life disorders, there are the things which have, uh, on which our life is dependent. Many a time we think only about the body. Many a time we think about only the mind or the spirituality. But do you feel that the mind is alone the life or spirituality is alone the life or body is alone the life? I don't think like that. I think that a man is represented through his body, mind, and the spirit. So when you consider all these facts together, you can arrive at the totality of the symptoms. So symptoms should be must 
thought representing the whole personality, every symptoms uh, that you take into consideration for repertorial approach, it must have the unique features of representing the person as a whole. Suppose uh, a patient comes to me and I say that, uh, and he tells me that, sir, I am having the pollution, night pollution. And he's worried about that. And his age is only 29. Now I ask him, why you are worried? Why you are having anxiety? You no, know, people used to say that it is bad for habit or it is like. So it is put into his mind that the pollution is bad. And with this, he is feeling the guilt feeling. So guilt feeling and the uh, embarrassment, embarrassed feeling makes him to think that he is doing wrong. So what is the feeling about that? It is not that it is wrong. It is the natural phenomena on which the symptoms is dependent. So we have to consider all these facts before we select a proper medicines, sorry, symptoms. Symptoms, when we have arrived at the right features, the depth of the symptoms, every symptoms are the reflection of the outground, a flower that you see, that you observe and seems to be beautiful, that it has got its base in the root, that has got the base in the seed. So how you can expect the better flower or bad flower without you have the understanding about the seed, about the leaves, about the plant as a whole. So plant and as a whole can only, only give you the idea why this flower is beautiful, why this flower is so weak, or why this situation is so good. <clears throat> Everything has got its existence in relativity. And that relativity is usually very encumbered thoughts coming to our mind. We are used to compare with others. And in comparison, we get the different meanings. When you see a person who is very strong and body is very built up, and you can compare that to your body, lean, lean and thin, then you have the infinity complex. Why I am not like that? Why? Is this, a, is this the right thinking? No. We have to see into our own life, what is my constitutional built up? <coughs> I have been constitution, constituted to have be a lean and person. Every person who is lean and thin cannot have that obesity. And obesity, even after you making so many uh, dietic restrictions or exercises or so many things, it keeps on growing, keeps on growing. And it is only because the feeling of the obesity, feeling of the in thickness, feeling of the good, I'm not looking good, sir. I'm not looking uh, so much uh, beautiful. I'm not so much beautiful. Ugly sensation is there. And why this ugly sensation? Because it has come with the comparison. Is it a rubrics? Is it a symptoms comparison? When you compare, definitely you will feel good or bad. When you feel, compare with others, either you feel great or you feel poor. So with this feeling, it the generated when because of the complex, infinity complex. So psychological factors are very important. Psychological meaning for the life is very important. We must have the psychological understanding and we must devote some time learning about the psychology. Because when we think about the mind, do you feel that it is only what we see, what we observe, what is the sensation? No, it has got the three basic components. We have the emotions within us, we have the intellect within us and we have the desire within us. And all these three together, they constitute the part of the mind. And this part of the mind is reflected as the different plane, that is the conscious plane, unconscious plane, and subconscious plane. So subconscious behavior, unconscious behavior, and the uh, uh, conscious behavior is the important phenomena. How much you are conscious about that situation and why you have become conscious about that? 
why we have become uh, so much uh, fearful, fear of the dark? Why a child, when he get a bird, he has been trained by the mother. Ah, there is a cat, he's coming and he will kill you. He will catch you. There is a ghost. Who have seen the ghost and who have seen the cat? Yes, we all have seen the cat, but we have never seen the uh, ghost. But after looking at the cat, what feelings comes to your mind? Ah, it is so small animal. How it is going to harm at me? What is the intelligence? What is the factors that is for which I harm? So when I when the child grow up, they learn that this uh, this cat is not so much harmful. So he start teaching the child cat. He start biting the cat. I have seen the child. In the early stage, he was fearful with the dogs, but now he's biting at the dogs. Uh, where, whereas he was taught like that, the dog is biting. He will bite you, he'll bite you. But uh, now he has observed, I can bite the cat. I can bite the dog. And this habit developed. So understanding plays important role. Intelligence plays important role. So when you symptoms, considerations, uh, especially at the mental level or physical level, your considerations should depend on for analyzing the life situation. Every symptom, every phenomena is never independent. They are dependent. Symptoms are only the outward reflections of the internal disorder. Outward reflections of the internal disorder. So the outward reflections has got its base in the inside. And until you remove that base, this external symptoms is not going to vanish. So going at the root, Going at the root is important than deciding a rubric only based on the presentations, what the patient is telling to you. What you are observing, it may be the uh, iceberg. It may be the iceberg. You know the iceberg. They are very small ice water, ice floating, seems to be floating on the uh, sea. But uh, uh, the captain who is not aware of this and he says, ah, it is very small, nothing will happen to my uh, ship. So what he get? He get stuck with the ice, uh, that ice and the, that ship gets broken. Why? With this high ice has got the depth within the sea, vast depth. depth. So, but only the experienced and only the learning that has made that captain to understand that this iceberg is now dangerous. I must cross this iceberg. I must bypass this iceberg so that I can over um, my ship will be okay. So this is we have with us also our life also. We have the so many icebergs in our life, so many visible symptoms in our life. But all visible symptoms have got its base inside. Usually people used to say, the doctors, I want to get my sick recover very fast. A patient was telling, a doctor was sitting with me, sir, I got the symptoms. I say, what is the symptom? Can it desire to be fast? I started thinking from where, which mind he's thinking like that. I simply asked the doctor, do you feel that when you are in the pain and you will not get uh, the anxiety that will be removed with the pain immediately, very fastly and instantly. He said, yes. So why not you think that is a very common phenomena when the man is in problem, he must have the feeling of getting rid of the problem immediately. Getting rid of the problem is essential. And that makes him anxiety, that brings the fear, that makes him restlessness. So what makes you the anxious? What makes you restless? Or what makes you the uh, feeling of helplessness? It has got to be observed before you take this rubric of helplessness, anxiety, all the sub rubrics under the anxiety that must be understood. A child, a student who is now about to uh, complete his education and he is anxious about the next future career of his life. What happens? He's anxious about the future career. Why? It is now the situation has come like that. So it is not the anxiety for the future. 
it is the planning, it is the things that is natural arriving into the mind. And do you feel that if it is persist, persistent? No, even as soon as you will get the job, you will get involved into the job, immediately you will feel better and he will forget about the anxiety of further future. So something must happen before any symptoms appear. Some situations of the life, some situations of the uh, your society, all these have got the influencing person on our personality. Our own personal body is very unique and very individual in nature. Whereas social structures are quite common in nature. And you try to adjust among the society. And this social behavior and uh, cliff uh, or the differences between the social behavior and individual behavior brings a conflict into the mind, which is reflected into the phenomena of the um, uh, that is being observed in the patients. So conflicting of the mind, where it is conflicting, and why it is conflicting, you have to understand that. And then only you can think that it, yeah, it is right moment to take the symptoms. A child at the adolescence stage, he starts getting the pollutions. Now his parents used to tell him, ah, this is very bad habit. It is a sin. It is a sin. And what he develops, what he will develop. Whenever you have, he will have the pollution, he will have the guilt feeling. He will feel that he is, he is doing something wrong, conscience guilt. Do you feel that he, at the age of 16, 17, there should be no pollution at all? The natural growth of the life, natural discharges of the life, as like that you have the natural desire for foods, natural desire for urinations, natural, uh, why don't you get uh, anxious with uh, fear or anxiety? or guilt feeling when you have the uh, urge for the hunger. Because it is a social behavior, every people you see eating openly. But whatever things are hidden in the society, they have to be understood properly. Why it is under hidden? Why it has been kept secret? The secrecy of the life has often becomes a very important uh, uh, misunderstanding creating a misunderstanding about our personal life. Friends, all these factors are very important for selection of the proper rubrics. Now, friends, I can see that symptoms have got the individual limitations. That means it is basically related to the person, that person's world. Whereas, the, the rubrics are the presentations of the representations of the large group of the patients, large group of the patients. So your feelings, individual feelings, when they are co uh, made common, they constitute the rubrics and they are put under the rubrics. And with this, what you have seen with the evolutionary phases of the repertory that the symptoms rubrics are now growing. Growing means more and more medicines are being included. And this inclusion becoming more, very uh, big. The earlier repository of the cane and the present repository of the synthesis, it has got the large variation, wide variations. And people used to say, which is right, which is wrong. No, Kent was not wrong. And neither the Frederick Science was wrong. They have. They have observations, they have the limitations at their time. And in the present phenomena, their limitations is becoming more with the more increasing knowledge. This thing has happened with our one of the big, very important rubrics that is fastidious. And during the Kentian era, it was the fastidious means that very particular about keeping the things, keeping the everything in order. It was only that. But why this keeping in order was there in the mind? Because he was very much concerned, very much anxious when the things go wrong. And with this, the, there is a fixation of the mind. And that fixation becomes, get what converted into the 
wider meaning for the hospitals. So now we, what you see, the large number of the medicines have been included. Sulfur has been included, lycopodium has been included, and many more med medulinum has been included. And when you go into the fastidious nature of the sulfur, and so many people think that it is wrong. No, it is not wrong. So sulfur is very much fastidious, very much have got the concern for increasing his philosophy. He cannot live without thinking. He cannot live without increasing his knowledge. Philosophical approach is the primary features for the sulfur. Naxomika has got the primary features for the objective of life. Mind is fixed at a point according to the life situations and understandings, fixed at a point. And this fixation uh, became the fastidious aspects. And that's why the meaning is changing. Meaning is changing. So when you think in the pattern of Kantian era, and you try to implement it with the uh, synthesis report, you will be, uh, you will find difficult in managing the medicines. So understanding the new theme that is being changed with the changing scenario because of the psychological development, learning development of the psychological understanding of the uh, situations that reportedly are going. We also observe there are many more, many more rubrics added, new rubrics are added, which were not there in the Kent reportry. And these rubrics includes, and basically they are being included from the psychological point of view. Now, until and you understand the psychological point of view, and rubrics are getting increased or changed or enlarged, you cannot understand the whole philosophy. So psychology plays important role in selection of the mental, especially for the mental rubrics. Similarly, with the physical symptoms, it is also important that you must see that see how much this physical symptom is persistent or it is constant with the nature of the person. And these physical symptoms, like that in generality chapter of the Frederick Soils, you will find food and drinks to include the switch desire. And earlier the switch desire was very small. And now it has, has become very wide. Why? The sweetness. Sweetness is the phenomena. Sweetness, that he wants everything sweet. And this he, he don't get taste in other things. And that is the consistent feeling about the sweet desire. So you must, he cannot live without the sweetness. He get worried when he don't, don't, don't get the sweetness. He don't get the situations like that of the sweets or compatible with his mind. The things with the compatibility is important with the mind. The physical symptoms must have the compatibility with the mind. And this compatibility will really lead you to arrive at the right selection of the physical rubrics, mental rubrics, and whatever rubrics you want. So for selection of the rubrics, you must have to be very particular about the, its base, about its structural base, a structural base that is uh, very much deep rooted in the psychological part because man is represented only through his mind. We have the window, our life has got the window and this window is mind. Is mind. So mind is the window and it needs that we have to look at the, what, is, what you can see with, through this window. And from simply looking at the external part, you can get the, only the delusion part. But when you, be, when you enter inside the room, you will find it is very different type of the room. So you have to see the function, you have to see the structure. So these three forms will constitute form, that means the visibility, and function, that means its, its ability, and its structure, that means the, what is the background, that constitute the totality for single symptoms, for single rubrics. So friends, for developing a totality of symptoms, you have to first develop the totality of single symptoms. And when you have developed the totality of symptoms based on three phenomena, those factors will only include, uh, is liable to be included under the totality of the symptoms for that person. 
Many a time we think about, about the, having one rubric or two rubrics. Now, again, I remind you that patient is never represented by single symptoms, however peculiar in, in them. So you must go for the group of the symptoms, group of the symptoms by which the personality is reflected. And only one phenomena will be like the peeping at the window. And peeping at the window gives you the half-hearted view of the light. It is not a complete light. It is half-hearted light. So we have to see the phenomena. So what is the aspect of the doctor's vision and the individual patient's vision? The aspects of the in doctor's vision is to see in the wider aspects. Like a butterfly, he flies in the sky, and but he can he has the ability to see the whole of the uh, earth from that place. And more he fly up, more he see the visibility. But what is the phenomena for the individual man? He see only around himself. He like the uh, frog within a well. He life is surrounded within a well. Anna, so what he can think, not beyond that, but what is the doctor's view? Doctor's view is to see beyond the, uh, beyond the, this, what should be beyond that well? What should be beyond that my life? And beyond that life, we have the three stages, your individual life, your universal life, and your spiritual life. What, what is the status of our earth? It is just only the one aspect, but in the whole of the universe, how many earth are there on this planet, on this universe? Many, many of them are, and some are known and some are unknown. So our knowledge is also very important. And what we know about ourselves, we only have got the limitations of knowledge. And that limitation is embedded within the only 7% of the whole of your life. So when you cannot understand the completeness of your life, what will happen? It will simply uh, have the one-sided view of the life. That's why Dr. Henneman had mentioned and talked about, mentioned and talked about the uh, one-sided disease, local malady. Where he writes that one-sided disease are the outward reflections of the outward reflections of the something there within. Even for the one-sided disease, you have to go into the totality of life by understanding the constitutional factors. And if it is not visible, first you have to start removing and going and digging into the life of the patient. Life of the patient has to be digged. This is very important. So your work is like that. You have to dig. You have to find out. You have to search. And searching is the only ability and the most ability, efficient ability for a, any of the physicians. A physicians and a common man understanding are quite different. Common man think about only about the about the problem, but uh, a physicians think about the base of the problem, why it is like that, why it is there, and why there are so many phenomena. Friends, it is, uh, we have to be very thoughtful in nature. Becoming a physician, it is essential that you start thinking and going into the depth of the learning. Simply knowing about the and gathering information is not sufficient. How much you can utilize those information and gatherings, uh, uh, knowledge for your life, and, and and this can possibly made possible only when you understand the depth of the uh, that discipline. So depth is important for the selection of the weeks also selection of the patient and understanding the possibility of the patient also. Many people are being called that he's a cheater, he's a dropper, or he's something like that. But what is the, this is only this is the part of that man. He's robber means he, he, he has the desire to steal. Yeah, it may be one of the reflections. But why he's stealing? Why he's robbing? Why? 
he's robbing. You may be aware about the uh, Ramayans. How the Balmiki was there? Who was the Balmiki? The man who only thought about the personal life, individual life, happiness of the present life. But when he was made aware about the base of his mind, he got changed and his ideas became very changed and he became the very philosophical output that we are that we have seen from the traditional uh, belief and it has become the household word Ramayana. So what is this understanding is very important. This understanding developing it is a uh, only because we have to develop a thinking process and thinking process is only meditating process for the human life. One who has ability to analyze, one who has ability to look into the depth and beyond, far beyond the light, they are the physicians. Physicians are those persons who have the ability to understand and see the past, present and future together. What was there in the past? What is there in the present and what is going to happen? This is the diagnostic approach for the physician. A physician has to become more diagnostic in nature calculative in nature, and this can be arrived by analytical phenomena only. And this repository is a platform where you get an opportunity to diagnose a patient's symptoms and patient's life so that you can get a proper number of the rubrics. Proper number, I say number of the not rubrics, not one rubrics, proper number of the rubrics. That will represent the totality of the thing. So keeping in mind that our Hellman's views, our body vessels views, that it is important to have the perceptions about the life, we must think because our practice homeopathy of homeopathy is based only on the perceptions that are relying on the Hennemanian thoughts. And Hennemann thoughts is, teaches us that it is the totality patient is never reflected by a single symptom, however peculiar it may be. So there are the phenomena, and you can understand only by seeing, by seeing a very big tree, like the, uh, and uh, can you feel that the, how this big tree was grown? Some, if, some people will tell you that it is from this small seed. One who have not seen the whole phenomena of that seed growing into the germinations and then plantations and then becoming big, he will not feel us. Oh, it is rubbish. It cannot be like that. Our potentiality lies in that. Our potentiality lies like that in the seed. That seed has got the potential value of bringing out that big banyan tree. Big banyan trees. That's why. Our life is also like that. We have germinated, we have come into the life only because fertilization of one single sperm, fertilizing a single ovum, and that constituted a man. When you think like this, you can see the man to be now having multiple of the uh, infinite number of the cells within us. Can you imagine? And no, nobody can imagine that it came only from the one single spur. So it is like this, this comparison and comparative, uh, you have to use every aspect of the uh, so, uh, psychology for arriving at the right technological symptoms. Uh, earlier it was felt that the report is a very boring subject. Because it takes time for the reporterizations. Yeah, it was true at that time. When we started practicing, there was no computer. We have to do the uh, uh, reportorial analysis only on the pen and paper. It was about uh, used to take about one hour to one hour or even more. But uh, and at that, the people who used to uh, afraid of undertaking so much labor and doing 
and working for only one patient, it will take about two, three hours to complete the history. So they usually escape the repertory and they wanted shortcut. In medicines, there are nothing a shortcut. Nothing a shortcut like this. Medicines is a subject which has to be seen in the length at the length and at the completeness. It is a medicine subject is wider. The number of the medicines and number of the symptoms within each medicine is growing each and each day. So how you can see that the sulfur will be represented by a single symptom alone, where there are 15,000 rubrics included in the synthesis repertory. So, and every Metra Medica includes more than 5,000, 6,000 for each and every little. So how, why these symptoms were there? By, and when you see, come, come at the polycrest remedy, you will, you will not be in a uh, position to select a proper medicine. Why? Because you are only seeing at the common phenomena of that and that particular phenomena of that. So developing the habit of creating an understanding in the totality, you may not be able to understand the things properly in your, for your life. The utilization of the utilization of the knowledge, your intellect, knowledge is not what you have studied at the your graduation level and post graduation level. It is to be made applic applied aspects for your practical own practical life, own practical life. The experience and experiences of the individuals are different, and your experiences are quite different because your life situation is quite different from their life situation. So we must understand our limitations. We must understand about the scenario where we are living and what way. And this will in help you in increasing your widerness of the mind, wider increasing the widerness, wide thinking. The generalized thinking of the mind is important for development of a physician for, to become a more applicable and uh, more resourceful for the uh, handling any type of the problem. Many a time doctors are careful, oh, this disease is incurable, I, 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 it cannot be cured by me. And as long as you carry this feeling within you, you will never undertake that case. I understand, I saw one student and I asked him and he was studying under me at, and at my clinic. So when a patient came, I asked him to take the case history. He was not suffering that he from what, he was not understanding from what disease he was uh, suffering. Then when he completed the history, I asked that uh, student, uh, yeah, uh, uh, what, is, what is the problem with this matter? Sir, these are the problems. Do you feel that he, why these problems are there? He said, you know, sir, because he had not shown me the report. See, I, I have not seen his report, but the problem is related to the HIV. And as soon as this thought of HIV came into the mind, he became, oh, what I have done? I have taken a case which is not going to be cured. But under the observations, he understood that that patient, that very patient, got relieved of the HIV infection. So here it comes, and you will not be able to undertake the patient until as long as the, this fear is persistent. And the incurability are the aspect of the mind only, mind only, where you are not able to understand the person. But as soon as you have developed the understanding, you must have heard that the homeopathy treats the patient and not the disease. So why you have to fear with the name of the disease? Why you have to fear about the problems? You have to think about the person. Who is this person? This person is very important. And he is the only person who is suffering. And his sufferings are what why he is suffering, are, you have to understand. And we all these factors are related, has to be seen within each rubrics that you have observed during your practical case taking and repertorial process. Friends, 
during my life experience, uh, I have learned gradually. Not that the, I have learned so many, so much things, and I am able to give you the discourses like that. I was also very no wise in the homeopathy. I was ha also having very, but perseverance has made me to understand. Thoughtful nature has made me to understand. My habit of learning and reading has ha helped me to understand and make a life at making some conclusion about the life. Life cannot be understood with the single phenomena. There are some window has developed within my mind and that mind has helped me to think differently from the others. Every patient is different from the others. Why we should not try the, where he is different from the others? The man is having liking for the sweets. So how he is different from the other patients who also have got the liking for the patient? So liking for the sweets. Man is very fastidious. And uh, then you have to think why this man is um, different from the other patients who is also fastidious. So individual understandings it comes and plays a greater role for the selection of the objects. Friends, these aspects are very important for our understanding and we must, must keep on upgrading our information. Learning is a continued phenomenon. It never ends. It never ends. And it is very much applied with the medical philosophy, medical understanding. And it has been rightly said that the medical education is a continued learning program. And this continuity can be maintained only you keep on but have a perseverance for the learning activity. Friends, it is very, I have tried to give you some inputs through the repertory and with the rubrics, along with the life situations, your physician's ability and requirements that you need to develop during your clinical experience. Keep on gathering that experience. Keep, keep on having the personal test of the life personal say, test of the symptoms with the patient's observation. Not on your person, through the patients, you are, have to keep on learning and see. You will definitely find that this therapeutic applications are not so much useful as than the rep repertorial therapeutic applications of the symptoms. So friends, I think uh, for today's session, it is enough. And we should continue having more information about the repertory in future also. And I will keep coming uh, with my future thoughts, future understanding, and share with you all these that phenomena. So friends, with this, I thank you very much for your patient hearing. And I bless you that you must develop this philosophical approach for your life. Thank you, thank you very much. And this only philosophical approach are uh, the applied aspects for your practical approach for the life. Both has to be combined together. Philosophical, practical uh, are the basic phenomena for the development of the human's own mind. So with these thoughts, I am just concluding my session and thank you uh, very much for having a patience in listening. Thank you very much. <laughs>